Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to fix this error which you might encounter if you have your computer dual booted with Linux and Windows. Alright, so it says error, unknown file system, entering rescue mode, grub rescue. The first thing you're going to do is type ls, now press enter. Alright, so that will give you a list of all the drives on your computer. So mine has hd0, hd0 ms dos 5, hd0 ms dos 4, hd0 ms dos 2, and hd0 ms dos 1. Alright, now you need to figure out which drive has Linux installed on it. If you already know which one it is, you can skip this step. If not, then you'll need to check each drive to see if Linux is installed on it. To do that, you're going to type ls space. Now type the drive that you want to check. I'm going to start with hd0. Now type slash and press enter. As you can see, once I do that, I get an error. It says unknown file system. So that means that HD0 is not the right drive. If you get an error, check the next drive and keep going until you get the right one. Now I'm going to check HD0 MS-DOS 4, which is where Linux should be installed on my computer. So once again, I'm going to type LS space opening bracket HD0 comma MS-DOS 4 closing bracket and slash. Now I'm going to press enter. Alright, now as you can see I didn't get an error this time which means HD0 MS-DOS 4 is where Linux is installed. Once you find the right drive you're going to type set set space prefix prefix equals opening bracket hd0 comma ms dos ms dos 4 closing bracket slash boot b o o t slash grub g r u b and press enter now type ins mod m o d space normal n o r m a l and press enter now type normal n o r m a l and press enter again as you can see, once I do that, it goes to the screen where you can select your operating system. So you're going to go into Linux. Once Linux loads, you're going to log in. Alright, now you're going to open terminal. Type sudo sudo space update update dash grub grub now press enter type your password press enter again now type sudo sudo space grub grub dash install I N S T A L L space slash D E V slash S D A. Now press enter again. Once that's done, it should say installation finished, no error reported. Now you can close terminal, and when you restart your computer, everything should be working properly again.
Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.